Hi, my name is Jessica and I'm Siobhan and we're here to cook some coconut bites. So these are from my baby and family book and they're a delicious snack to have in the freezer and they don't contain flour. Yeah. Ever nobody can get flour right now. So how do we make them, Jessica? First you're gonna, gonna melt, melt the, the coconut, coconut oil. oil. So you, you melt it there. So we have 130 ml of coconut oil. So don't let it boil, just melt it. And now I have weighed out 200 grams of desiccated coconut. So I'm gonna add in my coconut first. Coconut. And then coconut. I like this because it's hot, okay? Okay, coconut. And then you're gonna add in the three tablespoons of maple syrup, and then we're gonna blend it. Three! Have a look at it. It's a nice and creamy texture. So now I'm going to, we want to roll it into balls. So Jessica and I here have washed our hands. Yeah. And we're going to roll it into balls. It's a little bit messy. Please. But what will happen is in the freezer, it'll um, bind together. Okay, so into balls on, onto a board like that. By any chance, do you have any leftover Easter egg? <laughs> oh my goodness. So if you want to wash your hands there, and if you want to start melting the chocolate for me. Okay. Break it up into little pieces and put it over a boiling water so, so you melt it. Okay. I still have like a little bit of You what? I still have loads of Easter eggs. I know you do. I'll keep stirring that because this is hot. I'm melting the chocolate. Pop it in the freezer for about an hour or two to harden up, and then we're going to sprinkle the chocolate on top. So here's some I have frozen earlier. So I have them in for about a half an hour to an hour. And Jessica's just gonna sprinkle some chocolate all over it. The fun part, so just go like that, drizzle it all over. And then you can pop them back into the freezer mm -hmm. again. And actually that's where I keep them. So I keep, a, keep them in a Ziploc bag and then you can kind of go to them when you need them. But also they, they'll stay fresh as well for up to a week in your fridge. They're nut free, so we can have them in the lunch box. They're, they're much like a bounty bar actually, aren't they? Yeah, they actually yeah. are. They're lovely. So yeah. thanks for your help, Jessica. You're welcome. And don't forget to check out Jessica. She'll be making her chicken parmigiana on Thursday. Thank you. So good. And you were chocolate.